Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxarian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the 24th day of April, we celebrate the memory of our Holy Mother, Elizabeth the Wonder Worker. St. Elizabeth was given by God to her noble parents, devout Christians of Heraclea in Thrace, following a miraculous intervention by the Holy Martyr Glycheria. From her earliest years, she learned the lives of the saints by heart, so that she was able to follow the model of their evangelical conduct in every circumstance. When she became an orphan at the age of 12, she gave her inheritance away to the needy, freed her slaves, and entered the convent of St. George, popularly referred to as of the Little Hill in Constantinople, which was governed by her paternal aunt. Embracing with zeal all the labors of the ascetic life, she rapidly became a chosen vessel of divine grace. The eyes of her heart were unceasingly fixed on the divine beauty, and to that end, for three whole years, she kept her gaze turned towards the ground, not allowing it to stray elsewhere. She wore a sim single tunic and walked around with bare feet, even in winter, but the love of God, which burned in her heart, served her for a cloak and covering. The tears she shed during the recitation of the Psalms were sweeter than any bath or perfume, and for food she most often contented herself with the heavenly bread alone. When the abbess was on the point of leaving this life, she named Elizabeth her successor, and it was the holy patriarch Hennadius, 458-471, to who invested her. God then redoubled the effects of his grace, and the saint worked many miracles, healing incurable sicknesses, casting out demons, and predicting the future. She warned the emperor Leo in advance of the terrible fire that was to ravage the capital in 465, which was also predicted by St. Daniel the Stylite. And it was thanks to these two saints that the city was preserved from complete destruction. As a sign of his gratitude, the emperor gave her monastery, the estate of St. Bavilas in the Hebdomen district. The place was, however, inhabited by a fearful dragon, which terrorized its inhabitants. The saint went to the place, taking with her the precious cross, and she killed the dragon and trampled it underfoot. Her reputation as a wonder worker spread throughout the imperial city, and like a new unmercenary, she healed the sicknesses of all who approached her. One day, during the divine liturgy, she went into ecstasy and saw the Holy Spirit descend like a great white luminous cloth to encompass the altar. Towards the end of her life, St. Elizabeth returned to Heraclea, her homeland, to venerate the holy places there. St. Glycheria appeared to her, reminding her of the protection she had given her from her childhood and inviting her to the heavenly country on the day after the feast of St. George. Returning to her monastery, Elizabeth gave her last instructions to the sisters, and on the appointed day, having communicated in the holy mysteries, her face radiant like the sun, she stretched out her hands towards heaven and gave her soul into God's hands, after having pronounced the words of the righteous Simeon, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Elizabeth is body remained incorrupt and was a source of healing for many centuries. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.